morning and welcome to Train World TV. We have a very special guest, CEO of Lionel Trains, Howard Hitchcock. How's it going, Howard? Good, man. How are you? All right. Not too bad. And uh, we have actually a limited edition train here at the York Train Show, which is really beautiful, really special. What is it, Howard? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got running on the table, and it's going to be coming right behind us here, the 15th anniversary of the Polar Express set. So this is, uh, as you can probably see, really shiny. What we've done is a very special um, paint job on this thing. We've actually wound up plating the under the bodies of the cars and then spraying on a lacquer to emulate the uh, colors of the Polar Express. It carries the 15th anniversary. Wow. The really cool part about this, there's only 1,500 of these. We are already sold out and it's yeah. only available through the dealer network. Yeah, it, it's amazing how quick. I think the first yeah. week Lionel was like sold out. All the dealers grabbed it. I mean, uh, 1,500 sets is not a lot of sets that uh, so it's a limited quantity so make sure you get your pre-ordered in and I just came through the show today saw it it's beautiful I mean the finishing touches yeah. it's it's really unique so even if you have the first edition this yeah. is totally different this is one yeah where the 10th anniversary we kind of just put a logo on the side of it when right we had that it was pretty much the core set you know we went to the white roof a couple of years ago right with the, with the footprints in it and now we've got this beautiful set that, you know, the, the passenger cars glisten. This is going to look gorgeous under your Christmas tree. Yeah. Lights yeah. turned down, the Christmas tree lights are going to kind of shimmer on that. Yep. It is going to be spectacular. The locomotive itself has a gloss on it, so you yep. don't usually see yep. a steam engine that has kind of a shininess to it. So it is a very different looking train, like you said. It is a gorgeous looking piece for our, you know, one of our starter sets to make. And I like that this may even be a collector's piece now because it's a set number, limited edition, it's already sold out so you guys may be the few who get your hands on it yeah you're gonna want to look for this one this one's <laughs> gonna be special I'm actually uh, I'm trying to figure out how I get my hands on yeah that, right? <laughs> I, he may know some people, <laughs> I may know some people. <laughs> but uh, let's go take a look see what else Lionel has here today awesome All right, Howard, so what else special edition stuff do you have here? You know, one of the cool things that we celebrated this year was the 100th anniversary, or 150th anniversary of the uh, Promontory Summit. Right. And so this is the um, this is the set grouping that we had. So you've got the Union Pacific 119 and, of course, the Jupiter, which comes with the uh, the remote control, painted in gold, so it's sort of the golden spike sort right, of right, nod right. to this. Um, this is actually our universal remote. So this is the one that allows you to control three different trains You've got the selector. Um, normally, we sell that in uh, in the orange color, but uh, this is a great. If you want to, you know, we, we did the really high end set, but if you yeah. really want to celebrate this set for kind of the entry level price point, you're gonna right, need right. Two, you know two tracks to kind of run this, kind of emulate. Yeah. It's a great little start, starter set for wow. uh, for the celebration of the 150th. It's not every day that that obviously comes around. It was yeah. a huge thing in the train space. Yeah. And so the, a lot of the fun. news media. I mean, there was so many news uh, on on TV. Uh, articles yeah. written up. It was a big deal. Yeah. This Golden Spike 150th anniversary. It so. was. It was mainstream. It right, really was. Right, I mean, right. it was the type of thing that you heard about it on you know in everyday news. You don't have to be a train fan to know yep. that that happened this past summer. Um, so this is this is a really nice nod to it. Two beautiful general engines. Um, you know, really nice line chief technology built into yep. this. So this is a great way to kind of get in, be able to celebrate that anniversary. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this set you get the two engines and one remote and you could also operate these two trains with the one remote that's right because it's the yeah great. it's the universal technology so it actually our universal remote does have the ability to run three different trains and you just select the one and the two and it will automatically link to the signals in fact you could use this remote to run a third lion chief set as well so it's it's that's a great it's yeah. a great uh, it's a great piece that comes with it and you know kind of has that like i said that golden spike sort of look to it right and if you guys haven't used lion chief plus i mean this technology was groundbreaking for the industry because it's really fun for kids, adults. I mean, it's very easy right. to use. The kids love it. They come yeah. in our store. They operate it all the yeah. time. It's, it's, it is. It's so, you know, it's so 
intuitive how you right. use the remote. I describe this a lot when I'm talking to people. It gives you your forward and reverse. It obviously gives you your uh, your your bell and your whistle. Uh, if you have the coupler function, that's on there as well. The shift key, which is what allows you to control your volume, activate your sound. Right, of course, right, right. In this case, you've got the three selectors. Yep. So really nice that it comes with that as part of the overall set. Yep. And Howard, I guess the last thing, the National Lionel Train Day. Yeah. I mean, this is a huge event now. It is. It, it, we're in our fifth year, which obviously you can see from the poster. So this was something we came up with a few years back, and we said, look, you know, there's national days for everything. Right. How do right, we right. like? How do we, you know, we're in the Christmas season. How do we kind of get a little bit of energy around Lionel? Right. And, right. And so we decided to make the first Saturday of every December National Lionel Train Day, and so we invite all of our. Say dealers, that one more time. The first. first Saturday, Saturday of December, <laughs> National Lionel Train Day, there right? Go. Coming up fast, right? We're, we're already into the yeah. season. Yeah. Um, and we do an anniversary boxcar every year. So there's a special boxcar piece that we've uh, we've actually already produced. We're wow. in the process of shipping that out. It was all done on pre-order. Okay. So that's going to be available at all the participating dealers. And we've got over 100 of them around the country that actually participated, as, as well as us. In our Concord, we have that little retail shop in, uh, in Concord Mill. So we're yep. there. I know you guys blow it out. You do a yep. great job every yeah, yeah. year. It's really cool, but it kind of energizes the train community around National Lino, yeah. Train Day, get ready for Christmas, get that train for under the tree, get your kids involved in the, right. in the hobby. Right. Time to come out as a family, build some tradition, build some uh, memories with the trains. So that's, that's, great. that's the impetus for that. So guys out there and ladies yeah. as well, Make sure you mark your calendars. The first Saturday of every December is National Lionel Train Day. That's right. Howard's right here to promote us, and we thank you so much for taking the time out, Absolutely. coming down yeah. to York Train Show to meet everyone out there. So it's been a great time, great event. Thank you so much, Howard. Thanks for having me on. Great really to see you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.